Hey guys, Chris from Pro Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing an install on this Hyundai Santa Fe. Today we're going to show you how to replace the factory radio with an aftermarket doubled in touchscreen radio. Now, this touchscreen radio also happens to be a Pioneer model, which allows for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Let's get started. Beast Audio Insulation Channel is sponsored by NVX and Sonic Electronics. Get 10% off all speakers, amplifiers, wiring kits, and more with coupon code PBAI at NVX. Also get 5% off all car audio components at Sonic Electronics with coupon code PROVOBEAST. Okay, as we get started with this install, the first thing we need to do is get this out. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to do. First of all, we just need to pop down this uh, kind of knee buster cover as we make access to pull other panels off. We pop this down, then we need to pop the top cover over the center channel if you have one off. And then what we'll need to do is actually pop this trim panel, this wood or it could be different in your car, the panel needs to come out. Then finally our AC vents will actually come out and they're held in with screws. So let's go ahead and get started. Now here, just outside the frame, there's going to be a Phillips screw just right down below here. There are four clips and you saw us, it's, it's super, super tight. You have one, two, three, four main ones. You do have two little clips in the back and one in the front, uh, but the main ones are on the corners. Once that's out of the way, um, next thing we're going to do is remove this panel down below here and again most of which is just held on with clips. Alright now you'll have two Phillips screws, go ahead and remove those. Alright, so you'll have harnesses down below. They're all color coordinated. The yellow one goes with the brown and everything else is pinned based on the colors. So green goes to green, blue goes to blue, yellow goes to brown, and then white is a totally different size. Go ahead and grab yourself a socket and get the radio out. We're using an eight millimeter. Now there's two locks on the main harnesses here. They're little blue locks. You just slide them back so you can push the tab in. They're pretty straightforward and easy to figure out. All right, so we have our parts all laid out here. The parts you're gonna need uh, for all doubled in radios, you're gonna need the Metra 95-7325S, as in silver, dash kit for doubled in. We're using the Pack Audio SWI RC Universal Steering Wheel Control Module. We're using the Skosh Harness, the Y, excuse me, HY09B wiring harness adapter. Now, since we have a flip down monitor in the back, we're using these high level to low level or RCA um, adapter cables so we can integrate the audio from the rear flip down factory screen into our aftermarket Pioneer. We're using a flush mount aux and USB 3.0 adapter. We're going to replace one of the cigarette lighters so we can accommodate this um, for easy access for the features on the radio. And since we're using a Pioneer, it's an ABH bypass module for Pioneer. Um, this bypass will allow us to watch video playback and access certain features and settings on the radio as well. And then finally here in the back, we're using the ABH 2300 NEX um, Pioneer touchscreen radio. This is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And this is going to be the brain of the operation. Now in a separate video we actually are doing a backup camera as well. Uh, we're using the uh, Esky backup camera kit. Um, we will show that in a different video and that link will be available in the description shortly. 
So first thing we're gonna do is pull out our wiring harness from our Pioneer and start matching colors up with our wiring harness adapter and our steering wheel control. Okay, so what we've done here is begin prepping the wiring harness here. Now, of course, if you're comfortable soldering and using heat shrink, that is the preferred method, obviously. Um, but if you're not, you can use the crimp method here. Uh, we did this method just for demonstration purposes for the average Joe at home. Um, essentially, just get yourself a good crimper, wire stripper. You'll strip both ends of wires, and what you'll do is with these, you'll actually just crimp on wire on both ends here, as we've done here, and put those little dimples in the wire. What that will do is actually lock in both wires. Now, you can also use uh, crimp caps as well, which is a great alternative if available. So what we've done here, like I said, these are your speaker wires on this end of the harness. Match just color, color, color for color up. Purple, white is your backup camera wire, and of course we're gonna go over this in the other video. Then we have power, which is yellow. We have red, which is accessory, and black, which is ground. Blue, white is amp turn on, which we'll need since this version of this Santa Fe has the amplified system. And then this really light green wire is your uh, parking brake wire. Now what we've connected these two on our wiring harness, yellow goes to yellow, orange, white goes to orange, white, red goes to red, black to black, and blue goes to blue, white. Now we've made some additional connections with those. Um, since we're using the bypass module here, this bypass module for the Pioneer and Pioneer only, at least in this install, black needs to go to black, so we tied that in there, as you can see. Blue goes to blue, white, as we tied that in there as well. And then this green, the parking brake pass, goes directly into the parking brake wire of the radio, just like that. Now for our steering wheel controls. These can be a little confusing and a little intimidating to say the least because there's a lot of wiring here. What you'll need for this install, when you pull this harness all apart here, you're gonna need red and black, or your first two wires need to pull out of all these wires. You'll need to tie these red and black wires into your harness wires, and we've done that as well. As you can see here, red's tied in, and black's also tied in, as you can see that bundle there. That's gonna provide power and ground to your steering wheel controls. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is actually set the type of radio as instructed. Since we're doing a Pioneer, we set ours to seven as instructed in the paperwork provided. And in this car specifically, with this module, all we need is the white wire. So we're gonna keep this guy on out. And then all the other ones, we actually just cut short and we're gonna tape off. And then this also provides a second ground. So really the connections in the car um, that are not in our harness are a white wire and a black wire. Finally here, this guy, since this is a Pioneer, it's gonna use this. This plugs into the WR input on the back of the radio. We'll show you what that looks like later on. And we're gonna use some test of tape and tape everything up, clean up our harness. Again, we're gonna keep these two guys of our steering wheel control wires free because these need to connect in a different location in the harness than provided with our adapters. All right, at this point, we've taped up our harness. This end plugs into our Pioneer. This end plugs into the Pioneer's WR input. This will just hang out in the, uh, the radio cavity here. We'll just tuck this out of the way. That's why we have some ninth length. This end plugs into the car. All right, so at this point, we're just about ready to head over to the car to get this new radio installed. We also have this flush mounted down adapter. We're gonna go ahead and pop out one of the factory cigarette lighter ports and install this instead. It's the perfect size, comes with a little nut. And then this end will actually plug into the back of the radio to the USB port and the aux input port. Now we also have our Bluetooth mic. We can't forget this. We'll hook this up. Generally, we put it on the A pillar. And then finally here, since this has the factory flip down screen, there's an audio output from the DVD screen in the back that comes up in the harness as well. And we'll need to use basically an RCA to 
speaker level to connect into. We're going to connect into those ports and then this end will connect into the AV input on the back of the radio. All right, so we have our hookups here for the wiring, our steering wheel controls, pin on this harness that has your power and ground, this solid blue wire, which is pin 11, needs to connect into the white wire on the steering wheel control module, and this gray one, pin 12, needs to connect to the ground on the steering wheel control module. What I did is strip the wire back without breaking the wire, and I wrap the wire around after making a little hole in it so it's nice and tight, and then we're gonna solder onto those and then tape them up. Um, on this side, here is our rear seat entertainment, if you have so equipped, set up. There's a brown, a black, and a white wire right there. Each pair of RCAs has two wires. Generally, the white will have a white and a black, and a red and a black. Again, you just combine the both blacks together, which connects into the black wire. The white wire connects into the white wire on the harness here. And then the red wire connects into the brown wire, or the right side. At this point, uh, you're going to go ahead and get everything connected here. Basically, we have our aux, our USB, our Bluetooth mic, which we put on the A-pillar and just tucked down below, one up underneath, pull it up through. Um, we're doing a backup camera, so we have our backup camera wire. Um, this is our video feed wire. And then if you remember here, we have our trigger wire, which is purple and white, and our constant power wire, which is red, and we're gonna run those along with our video wire to the back for our camera. Let's go ahead and get everything connected, get our steering wheel controls programmed, and then get the radio back in the dash. All right, so we got everything hooked up, everything hooked back behind the radio. Make sure your four little harnesses are still sticking out. You've got your plug here, and if you have the infinity, your speaker wire here, still hanging out as well. Uh, we got used the same factory four eight millimeter bolts to bolt the new radio in after everything's plugged in. Um, at this point, uh, we're basically all good to go. Let's go ahead and reassemble the dash. All right, at this point, we are good to go. We got everything put back together. We tested all our buttons. Everything seems to work okay. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto works great. Radio works great. Rear seat entertainment also works. That's about it for this install. Thanks, guys, for watching. I uh, appreciate your support. If you have any questions, throw a comment down below, and we will certainly see you in the next video.